The battle for vice president comes into view for Donald Trump. He's going to be meeting with some potential running mates this weekend as he has a weekend break from his trials. Potential Republican running mates will be on hand as Trump uh, headlines a major gathering of top GOP donors in Palm Beach, Florida. This is, of course, from Fox News. Former President Donald Trump moves from the courtroom in New York to the banquet rooms in South Florida on Friday as he headlines a gathering of top Republican donors and teams up with potential running mates. Now, if any one of them is Tim Scott or Christine Nome or anyone not named Vivek Ramaswamy, there's a really good chance things could look very bad for the Trump campaign. Uh, Trump starts his day in a Manhattan courtroom where the former president is being tried on nearly three dozen trumped up fake state felony charges for falsifying business records in relation to hush money payments during the 2016 election he made but didn't actually make to Stormy Daniels to keep quiet about his alleged affair with the adult film actress, which Stormy herself has said didn't happen. Trump has repeatedly denied falsifying business records as well as the alleged sexual encounter with Daniels. But uh, the conclusion of court on Friday will free the former president to travel home to Palm Beach, Florida, where he'll be the main attraction at the Republican National Committee's uh, spring donor retreat. The closed to press gathering held at the Four Seasons Hotel in Palm Beach and at Trump's Mar-a-Lago Club a few miles north comes as he aims to close his fundraising gap with President Biden in their 2024 election rematch, which every single fake thing that they throw at him helps him close <clears throat> and listed as special guests at the uh, the confab are a number of republican politicians considered to be on trump's shortlist for running mate according to an agenda of the weekend's events obtained by fox news this event takes on even greater significance in light of the fact that the president is constrained from travel due to his trial while at the same time biden can travel all over the country to raise money republican jewish coalition ceo matt brooks told fox news and that is the sole intent. Well, it's not the sole intent of these trials. The other intent is to try and get him locked up into prison because that's what third world dictators do. They stop their most popular opponents from being able to oppose them. Brooks, who has close ties to the GOP donor class, said that major donors are stepping up now in a big way as we watch in horror the nightly images on TV of our country spir spiraling out of control. And he predicted that this weekend will be a huge success. Among those listed as special guests are possible running mates Senator Tim Scott, who is the grandfather of the deep state. And a terrible decision. If you think otherwise, then you have no idea what his record is. I suggest you look it up. Uh, South Carolina, J.D. Vance of Ohio, who would actually be a very good choice. And Marco Rubio, who is basically Tim Scott, but stupid. Um, so our governors, Doug Burgum of North Dakota and Christy Nome from South Dakota. I don't know anything about Doug Burgum, but I do know that Christy Nome is politically terrible. And she sided with the pharmaceutical lobby when she allowed boys to compete and shower with girls um, in their uh, in girls locker rooms in high school in her state. Uh, two top Trump supporters in the House, Reps Elise Stefanik of New York and Byron Donalds of Florida, will also be there, as will entrepreneur and former 2024 presidential candidate uh, Vivek Ramaswamy. And even though he has already been told he's not going to be the pick, he absolutely should be. Also attending the gathering are the recently Trump-installed leadership at the RNC, uh, Chair Michael Whatley, who is abandoning Trump and is going to be, um, well— trying to help Mike Johnson, the traitor to the United States, stay in office, um, and the former president's daughter-in-law, Laura Trump, who is co-chair of the National Party Committee. House Speaker Mike Johnson, the traitor, is also attending, as well as a handful of top GOP Senate candidates. While Trump's team won't say whether the former president will hold one-on-one -on -one meetings with the potential running mates during the weekend confab, it's not hard to imagine that such encounters may occur. While the appearance of the potential vice presidential candidates will grab media attention, those involved in the gathering say fundraising is the emphasis, and getting a good VP pick is actually good for fundraising as well. The events this weekend are really more about raising money for the presidential race than it is about auditions for the potential VP candidates. A Republican strategist with ties to Trump, uh, to Trump world told Fox News.
Trump campaign senior advisor Brian Hughes told Fox News the gathering is certainly an opportunity for a collection of the most dynamic leaders of our common sense movement to demonstrate the winning messages we have to end Biden's weak and dangerously dishonest presidency by gathering a bunch of people, many of whom support undermining the First Amendment, sending our tax dollars overseas, uh, keeping our border open and spying on you without a warrant. Yes, that's what uh, pretty much everyone except J.D. Vance uh, seems to have done on that list. And I said pretty much because there are a couple of other exceptions, but most of them are just absolutely terrible. Those who financially support President Trump and, or, and the America First agenda will see that they are helping save our nation with victory in November. Uh, the Biden campaign took aim at Trump ahead of the RNC donor retreat. Donald Trump will spend the weekend off the campaign trail again, hiding behind closed doors with billionaire donors, bootlickers, abortion banners, social security cutters, and, uh, and a puppy killer. Uh, Biden campaign spokesperson James Singer charged while deflecting from the fact that Biden will likely be sleeping in his bed and taking nap time for 16 hours a day. The puppy killer reference was uh, to South Dakota's gnome, whose anecdote in her upcoming book about shooting and killing a family dog has stirred controversy among plenty of media attention, or amid plenty of media attention, because they want to distract you from the fact that she vetoed a bill that would have banned boys from showering with girls in high schools. I don't know who's going to be the VP, but I want to know who you think should be down in the comments. Then I want you to head over to my Locals page, thearthurnicks.locals.com, for exclusive content you won't find anywhere else. Till next time, thanks for watching.